and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have a, a very interesting video. So I came up with this idea after thinking about one of my more recent videos, which I talked about the decline of American Girl. And then I sort of just talked about things that were kind of going downhill with American Girl. And then I thought, if I was in charge of American Girl, what would be some ideas that I would throw out there in a business meeting to see if we could do it and if it would actually increase our sales? So basically, I'm giving American Girl my free advice, which they have taken in the past considering they basically created a Theater Kid Girl of the Year after I released my video with the idea of creating a Theater Kid Girl of the Year. But we all know that fiasco. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that fiasco of uh, it's kind of spooky, the video idea that I came up with, and then American Girl's final product. But that's a side point. But this is going to be a new series, I think. I'm, I Hopefully I'm going to turn this into a series, which is advice that I'm going to be giving to American Girl. What am I going to call this series? I don't know. Saving American Girl something. I don't know. It's going to be a playlist and I come up with an idea. Um, anyways, first, we'll just give the general business stuff out of the way. Just a few quick facts to punch out there. So first, um, more reasonable prices. I mean, some of the prices are just getting insane. I understand American Girl is like a luxury product. It's like, you know, the Louis Vuitton of the doll world. Um, but it's just, it's a little crazy. It's, 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 a, it's a little crazy if the new Disney princess dolls are $300, which is like $400 plus dollars Canadian. That's just insane. And the outfits are insane too. They're like $40 US. It's like not, it's a little, it's a little crazy. So more reasonable prices. I wish we could go back to the days where you could get an outfit for $24 or if it came with shoes, $30. But you know, that was back in 2011. The, you know, the, I don't want to say the good old days. <laughs> I don't know, 2011 wasn't that great, but at least it had great American Girl prices. Next is the store thing. They're closing stores left, right, and center, which makes zero sense. Now, the reason they're doing this is because um, when the pandemic happened, they were like, oh, we're having a drastic increase in online sales. So let's just close the stores. The reason you're having a great increase in online sales during the pandemic was because people either didn't want to leave their houses or they legally weren't allowed to leave their houses. So the fact that you're saying, oh, people are buying more online now, well, yeah, because they couldn't go in the store. So they literally make this split second decision basically after a year of data, which, you know, it was 2020 was a weird year. So to making business and financial decisions based on 2020 is a little whack. Bring back the live action American Girl movies. I'm talking about Samantha. I'm talking about Kit. I'm talking about Molly. I'm talking about Felicity. Those classics. And not just for the girl years. For the historical dolls. I'm not a huge fan of the new historical movies that are from Amazon Prime or on Amazon Prime. You know, the Mary Ellen movie was just kind of a little bit sloppy and didn't really... Not very historically accurate. Um... And I'm just trying to think of the other ones. Julie was okay, but like those ones, like they're good. They're like a good low budget movie. Story's really good. Actors are really good. Really like the, the concept. However, just the details and the costumes and the set, you needed to be a little bit more focused if you're creating a historical thing. And the movies, when they're done by like Warner Brothers, like uh, Molly's movie, and uh, maybe the other ones, I don't know, <laughs> but. Molly's movie details were fantastic. Samantha's movie, same thing. Kit's movie, also the same. Felicity's, the same. The Golden, I almost said trio. It's not a trio because there's four movies. But those movies, if you could just replicate that, that would be amazing. Now I'm planning on making uh, another video in this series, whatever I'm gonna call it, movies that they could turn into live action, but just some ideas to throw out there. I would love them for them to make a second Samantha movie based on Samantha's summer stories. Like Samantha saves the rescue, saves the rescue, saves the day, the rescue story. That would make a fantastic movie, like an outdoor Victorian movie. Cute. Love the idea. Thank goodness I came up with it because it's a good idea. Um, Murray Grace and Cecile movie would be another fantastic movie. I don't know why they didn't release one at the time. That would have been fantastic. Could you imagine? New Orleans, 1853, chef's kiss. That would be a fantastic, aesthetically 
pleasing movie. Literally, the books read like a movie. They are so good. Anyways, that's just a side point. I'm gonna make a whole video on movies that I think that they should make, uh, live action movies that I think they should make for America. None of the stop motion, the stop motions are okay, but the animated stuff, I do not like. Just, ugh, ugh. Anyways, um, next point. Uh, let's talk about reviving the world by us. Now, I was this is originally the start of this video, or the idea of where I got this video was, how can I save the world by us line? But I just thought I would amalgamate it. Haha, <laughs> look at me using big words, amalgamate, um, into this video. So, uh, very first thing, I really wish American Girl would release a Muslim doll, as I talked about before, and I've talked about this, this rumor, and this idea, and this character, which people were rumored that this would be for Hari, um, and I talked about that on my channel. I'll have videos that I'm mentioning in this video linked in the description box below if you want to check out everything I'm referencing, because I have made videos on these rumors and topics and all these things before. So it'll be all linked in the description box below. And um, we could also have a boy doll in the World by Us line. That would be really cool. We'd have a boy doll from India. Yes, we have Cubby, but we don't have a boy doll from India. And that would be really cool. But another idea I think would be very, very cool, uh, which I have mentioned on this channel before, is an indigenous boy doll. Now, I think that there should be more indigenous representation, not just in American Girl, but in society in general. Now, I was doing some research before this video, and indigenous people make up like 1.1% of the US population and makes up about 5% of the population in Canada. I think indigenous boy doll would be a great idea for American Girl to do. And um, also they could release an indigenous girl doll. Um, that is another option. That would be pretty cool. Also, I think that we could have a doll that is a wheelchair user um, because yes, they have sold wheelchair accessories before, but it would be really cool to have a doll that comes with a wheelchair. Um, I think that we could also do a doll with two dads or two moms. I know Kira had aunts, uh, two aunts that were in a relationship together and getting married, but um, that's not enough. Um, I maybe would like a boy doll with two moms. That'd be cool because regardless of your opinions about it, there is kids out there that have parents of the same gender. It's just a fact. So they should feel represented in their life. Um, just like everyone else should feel represented. Anyways, I've almost talked for 15 minutes now. Um, of course it's not going to be a 15 minute long video, but I should probably stop talking now. I'm just kind of rambling on. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas of what a uh, doll's American girl could do, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinions, even if you disagree with me or if you'd like to add something, leave it in the comment section below. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram and my TikTok for more doll collecting videos, and I will see you all next time.